We continue our coverage of Madex 2025. Uh, I'm back on the Hanwha Ocean booth with uh, Mr. Scott Coe. This time we're going to focus on their impressive uh, surface ship display. Uh, Scott, we're standing next to that uh, very futuristic looking uh, destroyer. You call it a future destroyer, so that's a concept ship. Uh, that is correct. It is a concept design ship that we have prepared for Modex 2025. Um, we call it the game changer on the future battlefield as it is uh, heavily uh, loaded with uh, future arsenals as well as uh, a highly improved stealth performance. Uh, as you can see from the design itself, uh, the multi-functioning radar, multi radar is uh, placed within the hull of the ship, um, increasing uh, its survivability and uh, less, becoming less detectable. Also, for, for the weapons itself, uh, we have 88 uh, uh, vertical launching systems equipped within the ship, as well as a rail gun and laser guns. Uh, another key feature of this uh, ship is that uh, it is uh, equipped with state-of-the-art uh, MUMTI system. Uh, it, it equips UAVs, UUVs, as well as uh, UAV, uh, USVs. That shows the know-how of uh, an ocean in uh, designing uh, we're very advanced uh, and next generation uh, solutions. That is correct, yeah. Behind us is a not less impressive uh, destroyer design. Uh, so what is uh, this, uh, this one? Uh, this is the uh, next generation destroyer that HANA has uh, created, a uh, design. Um, this, uh, another key feature of this uh, destroyer is that uh, it is accumulation of the combination of all of our three defense affiliates, HANA Aerospace, HANA Systems, and HANA Ocean. Of course, the platform itself is designed by HANA Ocean. Uh, the, the propulsion system, uh, all electric, is um, designed by uh, HANA Aerospace, and the uh, integrated mast, of course, is from HANA System. Um, it is, uh, for that reason, it is a uh, result of all the state-of-the-art technologies put together being built within this next generation destroyer. Another key feature is that everything is um, uh, placed within the enclosed hull, as you can see, uh, uh, to increase the survivability of the, uh, the sailors and the crew members on, on board. Um, and to give you a general uh, description of the uh, ship itself, uh, the total length of the destroyer is about 156 meters long. Uh, dis displacement is about 8,200 tons, uh, making the ship uh, quite large uh, for a destroyer. I tend, uh, I seem to recognize the, the I-MAST that uh, Anwar Systems have uh, designed and developed for uh, the KDDX. Uh, is this a proposal for the domestic market or for export? Uh, this is uh, originally created for the domestic market, but of course, uh, us HANA Ocean, we're always ready for our future uh, demands as well as um, uh, if our foreign customers uh, require any customizable uh, uh, platforms that we have, we are ready to create another variant model of this uh, um, future generation destroyer. And uh, lastly for this display, uh, you have this uh, frigate. It looks like uh, FFX Batch 3 Changnam class, uh, but it's actually uh, an export variant because I see a Leonardo uh, main gun. That is correct. Uh, just like I said, HANA Ocean is always ready to make variant models, create more enhancements uh, to meet the needs of our uh, customers. Uh, this model, is, uh, like you've mentioned, it is based on the Batch 3-4 uh, FFX class of um, the ROC Navy. We have made some enhancements to meet the requirements of our potential uh, clients um, in the Middle East. And um, some of the key noticeable factor uh, that we have uh, made changes of is that we have uh, increased the capabilities of our uh, radar uh, to be able to make uh, to allow the ship to detect as as well as intercept uh, theater ballistic missiles, which is uh, unusual for frigates. Last but certainly not least, Han Ocean is showcasing what they call the Ghost Commander Two. So, Madex 2023, two years ago, they unveiled a concept carrier for unmanned system. They call it the Ghost Commander 1, and well, this is the second variant. It looks like an aircraft carrier with helicopters, with fixed wing UAVs. Scott, tell us more about this uh, aircraft carrier like vessel. So, like you've mentioned, the name of this ship is Ghost Commander 2. It is a platform that carries uh, unmanned. Uh, assets 
Um, to give you a general description of it, it's uh, roughly about 135 meters long. Uh, displacement is about 41,500 tons. Um, it carries around different types of uh, unmanned uh, assets. Uh, it, it is a MUM-T platform. Uh, it carries around UAVs, heavily, uh, a lot of UAVs. Uh, notably, um, last year, HANA Aerospace has teamed up with General Atomics uh, to, uh, for the uh, Grey Eagle um, UAV. Uh, on this ship, uh, as you can see from the model, there is a Grey Eagle um, on, uh, equipped on it, as well as another uh, notable uh, UAV is the, uh, the collaboration between Korean Air and HANA. Uh, uh, the UAVs are also um, attached to it on the backside of the ship. Yeah. Another notable key feature is that uh, it has two separate runways, uh, making it more safe for better operations. Um, and also it has uh, amphibious capabilities with uh, well dock, um, having um, KAAVs um, and other types of uh, landing crafts. Um, so for that reason, this ship is a capable ship for any types of unmanned operations and more focused on the future uh, battlefield. And that fits into a ROC Navy requirement as they are looking at, uh, well, mother ships or drone carrier in the frame of the what they call Navy Seagulls, which is their concept of uh, man and man teaming for the future. And actually, they are really moving forward with it because uh, last year, I believe, they tested the uh, Grey Eagle on board the uh, Dogdo in service with the, the Rock Navy, and the test was uh, successful. Yep, uh, that is correct. All right, Scott, thank you very much for giving us this uh, overview of the various uh, surface ships uh, models uh, on display on your booth, and yesterday, the submarines. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Xavier.